Good afternoon, guys and dolls. This is Bast de Luna with another episode of Kitchen Witching with Bast. Today, I want to talk about, well, first of all, I want to uh, uh, show you, cause attention to the fact that I am using both of my hands and still talking into the phone. And why is that? Because I have leveled up and I have got a tripod. Yes, indeed. So, I'm doing things uh, boss lady way today. Um, anyway, so I want to address kitchen witching, not necessarily for um, the actual recipe that I'm going to show you, but the intention, the way that you go about it. Um, if you're not um, aware, magic in itself is all about your intention. It is what you put into it. It is your focus. It is uh, your reason why. Uh, if you want your magic to work, you definitely don't want to go about it half-cocked. So I wanted to uh, give you a couple of little tidbits to kind of help you uh, focus and uh, um, put your magic into whatever you decide that you want to do. Now, I don't know if you can see this, if you can see all the smoke and everything, but I came here um, with uh, all the accoutrement of uh, Kitchen Witching today. Uh, today we're going to put together uh, my little simple recipe for um, sleepwalking tea. So I call it sleep, or like a dreamwalking tea actually. And it's super, super easy. It's just five simple ingredients but um, I'm gonna put it together for you here so that you can see exactly how I'm able to enchant each um, ingredient to uh, make it a powerful uh, concoction so that you it can do exactly what you want it to do. So, um, I have, today you don't necessarily have to do all the, um, elements or whatever but I've got all my elements here I want you to see panning down so yeah okay so I've got uh, the element of air which is my incense holder the element of water the element of you see that I can't tell uh, the element of fire which is my candle and the element of earth which is my beautiful uh, clear quartz right here. So these are just some things that you can um, include to maybe call in the energies of the four corners, you know, this calling the four corners and, uh, you know, just infuse, give that extra sort of kick to whatever you're doing. So, um, what we have right here if you can see my um and and honestly i just wanted to uh, go back and talk about just setting an ambiance too there you go setting the ambiance too so i've got um you can play music um you know, of course, have your incense and things going on. Um, make sure that it's quiet. You don't have, you don't want to go into putting things together uh, while you're upset, angry. You know, you're pissed off. You're watching the news. Sometimes uh, the news just does has no good news there. So you really don't want to soak that into your brain and have that um, in the back of your mind while you're trying to put something positive together don't want to do that so um you know put some mood music on i'm like listening to um i don't know if you can hear it but i'm listening to uh some old school um actually this is jazz but they've got some they snuck some old school love music in there but it's it's uh um it is what is it new orleans jazz and I don't know why, but New Orleans jazz really always gets me into the frame of mind of, you know, creating and being extra witchy. <sighs> so anyway, um, set your mood 
um, make sure everything is clear um, you know as far as like your mind is concerned you don't necessarily have to go into uh, meditation before you do that but actually um, the, the process of putting these things together is kind of a meditation in itself when you're just focused specifically on the ingredients and giving them um, giving them a job to do so no further ado I want to show you my beautiful herbs here I don't know if you can see it's like all sunny here but um, okay show you so oops this is mugwort this is lemon balm this is um, wild lettuce and then we have skullcap and then I've got uh, waiting in my little uh, mortar and pestle some cinnamon okay I'll get it together so when you're putting these things together, um, first of all, when you're just putting them together, you always uh, want to make sure that each ingredient has an intention. So it has a job to do. You give it your intention of, you know, a job that it needs to be doing. So I'm going to put this lemon balm start with the lemon balm I hold it in my hand here now your hands are um, conduits of energy you know these are energy chakras in itself right here so you want to hold them in your hand and you simply want to give it a job this is the sleep herb right here lemon balm helps you sleep and it gives you really really good sleep so speak into it and then I'm just combining it in the jar and next is my mugwort mugwort is a, a psychic power herb it's really really uh, strong when it comes to um, setting psychic intentions if you want to have kind of like a um, astral travel things like that Mugworts, mugworts uh, is uh, one of the best herbs. So, uh, psychic, psychic uh, power is what this mugwort is here for. Psychic empowerment. Charge it and add it into the jar. Next is the wild lettuce. Wild lettuce gives you wild dreams very very vivid dreams it's a really great dream inducer so I'm just basically giving it um, giving it the job of dream catcher bring on the dreams baby add it on in here and uh, second to the last one is the skull cap skull cap is a um, it's a cerebral kind of an herb it's good for comprehension so if you are looking into like uh, having a, a nice strong dream and you want in, you you want to be able to interpret or if you want maybe spirit to um, speak through your dreams and you want to make sure to uh, be able to uh, interpret, you know, Skullcap is good. So this is for comprehension, for psychic, comp psychic comprehension, Skullcap. Add it. There you go. And last but not least, give it a couple more. You don't have to go really you don't have to really go really small with this. 
Justice Presence is good enough. This is a cinnamon. Cinnamon is just a spiritual, all-around spiritual uh, herb it's in itself. It, it It's very multifaceted. It has... Um, it can represent power, it can represent love, it can represent prosperity. Um, this is, I'm just giving it the job of spiritual connection, spiritual connection. Plus it'll make your tea all the more pleasant. These are really, really uh, nice and mild and pleasant herbs. Um, you know, some herbs, I don't know if you're familiar, but there are some herbs like, uh, Oh gosh, starts with a V. That is just like super, super funky. Just absolutely, ridiculously funky. Doesn't taste bad, but the funk is real. It'll come to me what the name of it is. I can't remember. Um, anyway, so um, after you finish putting them all together, you give it a shake. And then what you want to do is you want to enchant it. So um, you can speak the Psalms over it if you want to, uh, which is something that I like to do usually um, when putting concoctions together. But I'm gonna do something just really simple and just speak a word into it. Um, with the spirits of earth, water, fire, and air, I embark on this creation and I do it with care. I command it so, there's no other way. I charge these herbs to do as I say. Ashe. Motor B, and so it is. So, now you've got a wonderful mix, dream mix, that you can just uh, put into your tea bag and uh, uh, sip on it tonight. Um, add a little honey to it and uh, watch the magic happens but so I hope that this was informative on um, how to put uh, different things together to make it work for you anything can just yeah, anybody can just slap anything together but um, kitchen witching is literally infusing your magic and your your energy your good energy into something to make it uh powerful so um with that said i hope this was helpful if you have any questions uh please uh um, drop a comment and um follow my page um Moonlight Bruja on uh, um, on Facebook and also Basta Luna uh, YouTube on Instagram and YouTube <laughs> Basta Luna. Anyway, um, yeah, follow me, follow me, follow me. Um, I'm going to get this together, but thank you for watching. Have a good day.